Before we go into how to write a work instruction and share our free work instruction template, it's important to cover the basics to set you up for success. Writing a great work instruction that will be widely used by staff requires planning, teamwork, and testing. A subject matter expert, or an SME, is a member of the team or an external partner who has detailed knowledge in a specific area. To write the most thorough work instruction, an SME should be involved from the start to answer every possible question. Pre-writing checklists, working with the SMEs, operators, and functional teams helps develop a checklist of all steps that need to be considered to create the work instruction. Ask yourself, will you need visuals like photo and video? What other equipment might you need? Do you need to run through the process physically? Or can the instruction be completed without a live walkthrough? Which stakeholders or partners need to be involved? After consulting with the experts and working with the necessary teams, the first draft of the work instruction can be written. Be as detailed as possible. Cover every possible step, no matter how small or obvious it might seem. The instructions will be fine-tuned later. A good work instruction walks the user through the process with illustrative details and relevant information at every stage. For difficult or less intuitive step instructions, Photos and videos can really help clarify the task. When the first draft is complete, it's time to put the work instruction into action. First, working with an experienced employee or operator, go through the work instruction for the process at hand. Be sure to follow the work instruction to the letter. It's difficult but try not to allow experience and tacit knowledge cloud the process. Stick to the steps, but take note if there's ambiguity or breakdowns in the work guideline. If audiovisual components are required for the work instruction, the first run through is also the perfect time to get all the media, like photos and videos, of each process to be used in the final version. After going through the first draft, Implement any changes that were noted. Time should be taken to ensure readability and clarity. Rewrite any instruction that can seem ambiguous. Supplement written instructions with photos and videos where needed. Now with a complete, comprehensive work instruction in hand, it's time to try it out with colleagues of various experience levels. For some companies and industries, the work instruction may need to be signed off by operation leaders or the quality management team. Once completed, the digital work instruction can be saved and shared with the required users through a comprehensive LMS platform.